I don't want to let my situation hold me back from any potential or like any of the goals that I want to reach. She's an aspiring medical student at UCSD with hopes of becoming a neurosurgeon. And for the last year and a half, she has been homeless. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, a medical diagnosis has forced the student to go public with her story. Like so many on the UCSD campus, senior Shea Cruz's plate is pretty full. The pre-med neuroscience student has a rigorous course load. I was taking 20 units this quarter, full time is 12. But her studies aren't the only thing occupying her thoughts. When classes are over and she's finished her shift as a server. It's always on my mind. Cruz must figure out where she's going to sleep. She calls this 2006 Ford Focus home. These photos show some of the countless places she has slept for the night. She's also stayed overnight in parking structures across campus. She qualifies for some financial aid, but it's not enough to cover her tuition. Shortly after transferring to the school two summers ago, she decided to live in her car to save money. I shower um, in the gym on campus. Cruz also borrows her textbooks whatever it takes. It was something that I felt I had to do um, if I wanted to reach my goals. So it was something I was definitely willing to sacrifice. Then four weeks ago, an unexpected medical diagnosis, which will force her to take leave from her job for treatment. Hi, I'm Shay. She started a GoFundMe campaign to help with tuition, at the same time revealing a truth few on campus were aware of. Speaking out about it is just gonna bring more light to it and hopefully help not just me, but other people in the same position. As for Cruz's academic position, she currently has a 3.8 GPA and is determined to graduate this June. I don't look at my situation as a victim. I look at my situation as a lesson, and it's a lesson that will teach me to be more empathetic towards other people. I want to be in a position one day where I can help them. Michael Chen, 10 News. If she is able to graduate, she will spend some time saving up money to apply for medical schools such as Stanford, UCLA, and Harvard next year. If you would like more information on the GoFundMe campaign, there's a link on 10news.com. Just click on the red television button.